In this video, we will look at a simple tool that will help us to automate stock research. It is really helpful in fundamental analysis and also can be used in technical analysis. We will build a simple application, only 16 lines of code. We will go through each line of code. And then, in the end, I will show you how I personally use this tool on a more complex example. First of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing the subscribe button under the video. You will not miss a single new video. When I started researching stocks, I used Excel. So I had to put all the data manually, and each quarter the data needed to be updated. So very fast I understood that this process must be automated. And in this video, I will show you a simple tool that will help us to do that. First, I started using PHP, but very soon I understood that it was really hard to make UI, it was really hard to make tables, charts, so PHP wasn't suitable for that. It's a more server-side language. And it was really simple to do using Streamlit. Streamlit is used for scientific purposes, but also it can be used to build stock research tool. Streamlit allows us to pull the data automatically and build UI very simple and fast. So this is the tool that we will use in our example. So first we'll look at the final application. Okay, here is the final application. We punch in the ticker and we can see in what sector, what industry, what is the website and what is the market cap of the company. We can also read about the company if we punch in another ticker, for example, Apple, again, what sector, what industry, website, and the market cap. If we type in another ticker, for example, Starbucks. So this is all interactive. Warner Brothers Discovery. Obviously, this is just the beginning. You can pull much more data. And in the end, I will show you how I personally use this tool in a much more complex example. So right now, I will show you how to build this simple tool. We will go through each line of code. Basically, what we need is Python installed. There are tutorials how to install Python on Windows or Mac OS. Personally, I'm using Mac OS. After that, you install Streamlit. Also install the requests library and you type in, in the terminal, streamlet run, and the name of the file, in this case, test1. Okay, there are only 16 lines of code. The ones in green are comments. So first we import the streamlet library for shortcut st. Then we import the requests library. So first we'll build the UI. There are only two UI elements, text input and the button. So we hold the text input in the ticker variable and the result of the button clicked in the button clicked variable. So if the button clicked, we make the request to Yahoo Finance API. So the ticker is part of the request string and we add two modules, asset profile and the price. The price has the market cap and asset profile has the data like industry and the sector. We use the requests library to get the request and then we use Streamlit to display the result. We display the header and then we display sector, industry, website and the market cap using the Streamlit metric element. We add about the company to the expander. So there are only 16 lines of code. The code is very simple and it's very fast to build. So Streamlit allows us to build applications, very complex applications, very fast. And it's also possible to share the application online you can check the Streamlit website how to do that. So we built a very simple example. Right now I will show you how I personally use it in a more complex example. Okay, this is how I use Streamlit. We punch in the ticker. You can see the ticker, industry, sector, website and the market cap, just like in the previous example. We can also see the logo. The chart is fully interactive. For example, for five years in percentages. We can press about the company, just like in the example. We can also see some variables, the debt, the dividend, the mode. We can also see the growth, what was the revenue growth rate, and what analysts are expecting in the next year for the revenue to be. We can also calculate some of the ratios 
sales, earnings, free cash flow. And we can also make a sticker price or fair value calculation. Everything is, everything is interactive. So Streamlit allows us to build very complex applications very fast with very few lines of code. So it is used for scientific purposes, but it is very suitable for stock research. We can use it for fundamental analysis, we can use it even for technical analysis. I saw many examples when, for example, the moving average was used. I have used this tool to calculate the fair value or sticker price of several stocks. In the portfolio update of Terry Smith, here is the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do the by pressing the subscribe button right here. You will not miss a single new video. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you in the next video.